I was very proud to work on Portal. Uh, I, I had been a fan of the company Valve uh, for some time. I had played their games before. Uh, so when they asked me if I'd be interested in writing music for them, I said absolutely, without a without hesitation. Um, and um, you know, I played an early version of that game, and uh, like the rest of the internet, I had seen the the teaser trailer for it, and so I was excited about it, um, and I knew it was going to be cool. Um, and then. You know, when we came up with this idea to uh, have one of the characters sing a song uh, at the end, basically put a, uh, almost, it's almost a musical theater number um, uh, in the game. Um, you know, it, it seemed fun and, and awesome, but also, like, maybe it wasn't such a good idea and it wasn't going to work out. But, um, uh, you know, even when we were finished, I think we were, we were all kind of happy with the results, but we didn't know how people were, were going to respond to it. And, of course, you know, everybody just went crazy, which was uh, extremely gratifying. Um, you know, I, for, for me, uh, you know, I grew up playing video games, and uh, there's, that, there's that thing that happens at the end of the game, uh, in particular a game that has a, a long story arc to it or a kind of quest to it. Um, uh, you get to the end, and uh, you're, a little, you're a little sad, you know, because you, you've been existing in this world, and... Uh, you've been participating in this story, and then suddenly it's over. And you know that there's no new that thing anymore. You're done with new that thing, you know? And, and um, uh, so, uh, you know, I took, I took inspiration from, from that. You know, I, the, <laughs> the sort of uh, the parade of all the characters at the end of uh, Super Mario Brothers. You know, it's, it's a celebra celebratory moment, too, but there's also a little bit of uh, sadness. Uh, when you sort of sit back and and watch the credits, because damn it, you've earned it, you know. Um, so I, I wanted it. To, I wanted it to be like that. Um, uh, and you know, it, it's funny. I, my um, my daughter and I, uh, uh, my daughter who's who is five, we just played a game called A Boy and His Blob, uh, which is a long sort of platforming game where you you have a friend who's a blob of stuff, and if you feed him certain jelly beans, he'll turn into different tools that you can use to solve puzzles. And um, uh, so she and I played that together. And, uh, you know, for weeks and weeks, uh, you know, I watched her sort of figure out how to play a video game, which was awesome. And then, you know, at the end, we finished the, we killed the last bad guy, and the credits started to roll, and she started to cry. And I was like, oh, I know, I know exactly, I know exactly, I know exactly how you feel, because that's, you know, that's what it is at the end of a game. So... Um, you know, I'm, 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 of course, pretty pleased with how Portal turned out and how it was received, and I still think it's a terrific game. Uh, you know, even leaving aside the song, uh, you know, it's just such a brilliantly drawn uh, character uh, that you get to know in GLaDOS uh, throughout the game, and, and um, you, come to, you come to really uh, love her and understand her by the end, even though she's trying to kill you, and I think that's a... You know, that's a remarkable achievement in, in any medium, so. I do. Um, you know, there was... Um, uh, Roger Ebert actually wrote a, a blog post recently where he, uh, he, he declared his opinion, which is that video games can never be art. Uh, and there were, you know, immediately there were thousands and thousands of comments from people disagreeing with him, uh, and you know, I I won't get into the details of his of his argument. I think we just have a fundamental disagreement about I mean, semantics, which uh, uh, you know immediately makes it a really complicated issue to discuss. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I certainly think that uh, games or video games are a young medium, uh, and only recently. Uh, have we been able to uh, have the kind of video and audio experiences uh, that are strong enough to really uh, carry a, a story and create a vision and, and, and all that stuff. Although, you know, that said, I think there's a, you know, the, the trend of, um, of art games, I think, is really interesting. Games that uh, are playable but not, not, really, not really winnable. You know, they are their experiences and their artworks. You know, I'm thinking of, uh, there's a game called Passage uh, that is really just a, a sort of metaphor for, for 
going through life and making choices and ultimately dying. And it's, it's, it's really very powerful. It takes a few minutes to play. Um, it's not a very interesting game to play. And then at the end of it, you, it moves you. And, you know, if that's not art, I don't know, I don't know what is. Um, I have not started working on it yet, uh, but uh, yes, I have had some discussions with uh, Valve about writing music for, for Portal 2, and it does look like uh, it's going to happen. Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to talk about any details, but uh, I have seen um, some demo-y stuff of, of the new game, and there's a lot of cool stuff in it, and um, uh, you know, I'm really, really pleased to be uh, dipping back into that universe again. I think the game is going to be fantastic. Uh, I'm again, I am also terrified about that because it's, <laughs> I don't think there's any way we can follow up uh, on the success of, uh, of Portal 1, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do our best.